Hello everyone. Welcome to GainCafe.com. Today we are going to learn the difference between the insulator, conductor and the semiconductor. Because semiconductor is the most important part in the whole electronics. Or you can say the whole electronics is based on the semiconductor. So for learning semiconductor in an effective way you have to learn about the difference between the insulator, metal and you can call semiconductor. So let's begin. So try to understand. Look at the figures. like this is your home this is your friend's home and this is your bike and your friend's home is too far from your home your friend's home is too far from your home you don't have enough fuel in your bike to reach at your friend's home so look at the scenario like this let's go in an electric way electronic way so you can say there are two bands this one and this one okay this we call valence bond and this one we call conduction band so hmm, and this gap is equal to this distance between your and your friend's home the valence band who lives in valence band electrons lives in valence band so scenario is equally like the same valence band is your home while the conduction band is your friend's home and this gap is the dis distance between your and your friend's home and electrons wants to travel from this band to this band for the conduction of current it is much to electron to travel from this point to this point from valence band to conduction band same thing if you want to deliver something at your friend's home then you have to go to your friend's home with your bike or anything so if you don't have enough fuel in your bike like you have only fuel with help of that you can reach only here not your friend's home then you won't not you weren't able to deliver anything you want to deliver at your friend's home so let's look one more time the valence band is where electrons live that is like your home where you live you have to go to your friend's home to deliver something and electrons has to go to conduction band for the charge for delivering charge or you can say for the flowing of current it is necessary to electron to go to conduction band from valence band but electrons doesn't have enough fuel or you can say electrons needs an energy to move from this point to this point and this distance this distance this distance is called forbidden energy gap so this is all about insulator keep in mind this is about insulator thing is something like that for the current conduction the electrons has to travel electrons has to get into the conduction band from the valence band but due to insufficient energy due to insufficient powers the electrons can't travel from this point to this point 
and that is all because of this forbidden energy gap this thing is all because of this forbidden energy gap an electron needs 6 electron volt power 6 electron volt power to go from here to there like if suppose you need 50 liters of petrol from go from your home to reach to your friend's home and same way an electrons need 6 electron volt power to reach from the valence band into conduction band in case of insulators but the electron doesn't have that power so electrons can't get from here to there so there is no conduction of current if there is no electrons moving from here to there no charge carriers moving from valence band to conduction band so there will be no flow of current that's why insulator can't conduct current insulators are very poor conductors of electricity they have full fulfilled valence bond valence bond is fulfilled while the conduction band is full empty that's why they are very poor conductor of electricity normally an electron can't acquire such a high amount of energy like 6 electron volts so it can't jump from valence band to conduction band so hence the conductivity is poor but in some cases if the temperature increases if the temperature increases this is temperature if the temperature increases then maybe some electron can get the energy so if some electrons can get the energy then they can travel from valence band to conduction band therefore the resistance of the insulator the resistance resistance of the insulator decreases resistance of the insulator decreases with increase in temperature if temperature is increasing then the registration resistance will be decreased okay so this is the whole thing about insulator now we will move further about we will learn about the conductors now we will talk about the conductor so you can say this is your home this is your and luckily this is your friend's home and this is the distance between your home and your friend's home so I think now you won't need a bike to deliver anything from here to there or if you want to go to your friend's home from your home then you can go very easily no matter how less powers you are so let's understand in the example of electrons so this is the valence bond in this case valence bond and this one is the conduction band band or you can say this thing is like that they are overlapping each other they are overlapping each other in conductor this is valence band and this is conduction band second the scenario is something like that who lives in valence band electrons lives in valence band this is the home of electrons or charge carriers so now this one is the band overlap means no forbidden energy gap this is valence band this is conduction band so in a metal conduction band overlap in the conductor the mat the valence band overlapped with the conduction band so forbidden gap is not present and electron present in valence band can easily travel from valence band to 
conduction bands so that's why conductors are very good conductors of electricity or that's why the conductors called conductors cause in this electrons can be moved very easily from valence band to conduction band therefore the large number of charge carriers are present in metal that consist to high conductivity in metals so that is conductor we will see the examples later now the most important thing we are going to learn about the semiconductor so that thing is the middle between the conductor and insulator so let's start semiconductor is the type of material whose conductivity lies between the metal and insulator like the between thing is called semiconductor half of conductor metal is conductor half of conductor and half of insulator is called semiconductor there are two conditions one at zero degree temperature and uh, another one is at room temperature at zero degree temperature the semiconductor is like insulators at zero degree temperature the semiconductor is like insulator but at room temperature at room temperature semiconductor is like metal or you can say conductor that is all about semiconductor so for the exclusive example of the friend's home you can say like that this is your home and this is your friend's home not too near not too far means you need bike but you have that fuel you have that enough fuel to travel from your home to your friends home so let's learn with the real time example that what is actually like let's wait a minute clear it hmm. so let's start suppose this is our valence bond valence band this one is our valence band who lives here electrons lives here and this is our conduction band conduction band this thing this thing is forbidden energy gap so this is conduction band this is valence band and the forbidden energy gap how much energy do electrons need from travel from valence band to conduction band that is equal to one electron volt for the case of semiconductor so now what happens at zero degree temperature what happens electrons doesn't have any energy so that they can travel from here to there but at room temperature electron got some energy and they can travel from valence band to conduction band so at zero degree temperature the semiconductor behaves like an insulator but at room temperature the semiconductor behaves like conductor so that is the whole thing about the semiconductors and the forbidden energy gap is one electron volt but suppose one electron is living here okay and then that electron travel electron has gone electron has jumped from valence bond into the conduction band then what is here so let me make it very clear to you like suppose if there in that box there is there are two box in this box we have a electron if 
the electron travels from this box to this box then what it will leave here it will leave a vacancy here like suppose now the electron is here the electron is here what's here here is a vacancy that is known as hole so that is all about so we learn a lot of about insulator about conductor that you can call metal and we learn about the semiconductor now we will see the example for all of these insulator for insulator we have glass that is perfect insulator and the conductivity of glass is 1.11 into 10 power minus 11 and for conductor for conductor we have copper that is very good example of conductor even used in wires the conductivity of copper is 9 into 10 to power 7 and the semiconductor that is germanium that is known as 1.67 conductivity so this tutorial is all about the insulator the conductor and the semiconductor i hope you got it very i got you got in very nice way so now in next chapter we will learn about that talk about the types of semiconductors all the best and thank you for your time